Hey guys, this is Pecker Nat Ryan Bar. I'm coming to you from Strasbourg, France. I haven't been to Clarksburg in over five and a half months. And you never say never, because you don't know what the future holds. But I don't intend to ever live in Clarksburg again. At least not at this point in my life. Take that for what it's worth. I think it gives me distance to say some things that need to be said sometimes. And it gives me a zoomed out, bigger picture view of things sometimes. I can say things without emotions or personal stuff getting in the way. Just by not owning a car, I'm able to travel twice a month and see things, you know, like cathedrals and castles and Roman ruins and what have you. I can take a train, I can take a bus, I walk around town, but also I stay in hotels and they're, they just seem to be a lot cheaper in Europe. A hotel in Europe might cost you 85 bucks a night. It goes up from there. It can go way up from there. But just run down, skanky, side of the interstate, hotel, anywhere, in the United States, it's got to run you $120, $140. Why is that? Well, obviously, size of the room is one thing. Uh, fire codes, ADA requirements are another thing. But then there's something else I notice. Hotel occupancy tax. There ain't one here. I've never seen one. It's not a thing. Okay, this is where we get into real talk. Whatever you think the Convention of Visitors Bureau does to help boost tourism or hotel stays in Clarksburg, if you just took the hotel occupancy tax away, would it not give you more of an advantage over the towns in West Virginia to charge it, like Bridgeport, it would be a huge boost. Now I know what you're going to say. Well, that would mean the CVB would go away. I'm well aware of that. I'm the person who told the last council how to get rid of the CVB. Take the tax away. Give it to someone else. I'm not proposing an idea out of the blue. Folks like uh, Jeff Sigler of Revitalize or Die have said, CVBs in most towns do absolutely nothing. They should either be dissolved or they should be repurposed. Maybe they make sense in Fayetteville. You've got the New River Gorge. You've got a national park. You've got people coming from all around the world. Sure, hit those people up for some tax money and use that tax money to get more advertising to keep the gravy train rolling, to create more festivals, to bring more money in. But let's get real. Clarksburg's not Fayetteville. Clarksburg's like every other Rust Belt town. There's a few things that are cool, but it's not a tourist destination. And look, you think that you just go all out and get a thousand people, 800 people, to spend a hundred dollars a night at one show in the Robinson Grand, you're bringing eighty thousand dollars into the local economy. Yeah, but if you spend that money on people that don't even lo live inside your town at the expense of losing someone, who makes that amount of money a year, you're hitting your economy for that much damage year after year after year. It's time to rethink how you do things there. I'll holler at you later.